Happening right now, first at four, returning to ruin. Dozens of families in Tennessee finding nothing left in the twisted, smoking rubble they used to call home. Happening right now, do over. Michigan prepares to count the ballots again. Happening right now, another mild day in mid Michigan, but Andy says that is all about to change. His forecast is coming up. From the breaking news and weather authority, this is News 10 First at Four. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kirk Montgomery. It is official. Ballots cast in Michigan for the presidential election will be recounted. The recount was requested by Green Party candidate Jill Stein, who has already requested recounts in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. President-elect Donald Trump won all three states. In Michigan, he won by 10,704 votes out of nearly 4.8 million ballots cast. Stein claims those results should be questioned due to what she calls irregularities and the potential for hacking into scanning devices. While the recount is highly unlikely to reverse Trump's victory, Stein says it will ensure the integrity of the election. The Ingham County clerk is set to begin the process of recounting 135,000 ballots on Friday, and she's looking for dozens of people to help out. The recount will take place at the Ingham County Fairgrounds. If you're interested in helping out, shifts will be from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. starting this Friday through Monday, December 12th. The rate of pay will be $125. Send an email to inghamclerk at ingham.org with your name, email, address, cell phone number, and party affiliation if you would like to be considered. The original fire that sparked dozens of others across southern Tennessee appears to have been caused by a human and not a lightning strike. That's according to a National Park Service spokesperson. Investigators aren't revealing what led them to that belief at this time. Several families are starting to get a look at what the fires did to their homes. In the case of Jerry and Jeffrey Morgan in Pigeon Forge, it burned their home to the ground, a home they built just 12 weeks ago. Even though they lost everything, they thanked firefighters and said they have a lot to be grateful for. We really didn't think it was going to do this. It, it, this was beyond anything we ever thought would happen. Yes, we lost everything and we're devastated, but our family's safe. We're all together. I have a nine-year-old girl and my dad lives with us and we all got out safe. More than 400 homes and businesses have been destroyed since the fires spread from the Great Smoky Mountains on Monday. The wildfire is also being blamed on at least four deaths, nearly four dozen injuries, and several people remain missing. The mayor of Sevier County says he's lived there all of his life, and he has never seen anything like this before. And I hope to never see it again, and, and, and probably won't, but it's never happened. And, and I've never seen anything like it, a once in a life, lifetime disaster. We're gonna be okay. And if you really, really wanna do something for Gatlinburg, we're gonna be back on our feet in just a real short time. Come and visit us. Come back and, and vacation here. Red Cross leaders in the area are asking to hold off on sending in-kind donations like water and clothing until they can find safe places to store them. They say the response so far has been overwhelming. The wildfire is believed to be the largest one in the state of Tennessee in more than 100 years. Another two deaths in Tennessee are being blamed on a storm system that spawned tornadoes near the Alabama state line. Three other people died when the severe weather hit the northern part of Alabama last night. The National Weather Service has crews assessing damage from at least four possible tornadoes, including an EF3 with winds up to 152 miles per hour that was on the ground for five miles. Uh, first and foremost uh, are our priorities are to make sure that our citizens are safe. Uh, we're working to make sure that those that have lost their homes, that uh, we're helping provide them with the assistance that they need. A tornado also touched down near Atlanta this afternoon as heavy storms continue to sweep across large parts of the south. There were no reports of any injuries or damage. At least 50 counties in Georgia are under a tornado watch right now.
The prosecutor in Charlotte, North Carolina, will not be pursuing charges against the officer who shot a black man in September. The shooting of Keith Scott, which was captured on video by his wife, sparked heated protests and divided the city. NBC's Chris Clackham tells us what led to today's decision and what Scott's family is saying about it.